My first name. <laughs> uh, let me guess. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley, don't ya? Uh, are you still with the seat, Lolly? You're kind of talking to no one. Uh, you chumps come around here picking fights with me. Well, you know what happens next. You lose and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big, scary bully. It's always the same story. You brats start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. I mean, come on, monster? Me? Really? What did I do to deserve that? Granny Seat Lolly, you're not a monster at all. Exactly! And while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising the chief, and speaking with the Wyub, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know! <laughs> oh, yeah. And I have to mentor all the new kids. Hey, new kid. Yeah, you. Uh, don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find Float Justin? You see? I know my stuff. I'm a good teacher. You tell him. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. You can always rely on old Granny. <laughs> Did she just fall asleep with her eyes open? Oh, jeez. Behind this pitch-black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself. Behind the smoke. The lingering smoke. Ah, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Her mind's actually racing at this point. It's quite the opposite of sleep. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwind? No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sitlali herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, few have been able to master hers. Warning, warning. Red. Red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Huh? A <gasps> uh, traveler? Paimon? I... What's wrong? Uh, I'm gonna hurl. Hang on, just keep it in. Uh, uh, phew. Okay, it's passed. Uh, that was a close one. You had Paimon worried. Paimon really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now. Uh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up, not once. Are you feeling okay? Wanna take a quick walk and get some fresh air? <sighs> uh, there's so much that I want to say, but I can't. Why not? Of course you can, just say whatever's on your mind. Oh, please, Paimon. It's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start t 
dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met. Oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all! Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? I'm talking about shame! I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it! Surely, you know the feeling too? Um... Actually? <laughs> about that... Huh? Tell me what? Yeah... This is as good a time as any! Uh, this is so... Y you heard... You heard my... It's okay, Sweet Lolly. You had every right to complain about those things. Uh, I can't take it anymore! Why do these things happen to me? <sighs> hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's too much! It's just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and sees the whole thing! So that, uh... happens to you a lot? It happens to people in general, okay? Doesn't matter if you're 200 years old, or a thousand years old! Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes! I was just picking something... generic! <sighs> Take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. Looks like she's completely given up. Like those criminals who just confess everything and accept their fate. 